It is a sad, sad day in the Park household. I wanted to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes sneak peek at our show. So why was this such a special activity it was for my you? First time ever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why do you have your flashlight on? <laughs> I gotta go change a light bulb. Okay, this. Are you gonna take that off? Nope. <laughs> okay. It is a sad, sad day in the Park household. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but something of great significance has just occurred. <laughs> Our microwave of nearly 22 years has finally died. We tried to heat up a slice of pizza and it started to emit the most horrible burning plastic smell. Not to mention the noise. Not to mention it was making a weird noise that it has never done. We got this microwave for a wedding gift almost 22 years ago. You know who's gonna die from this? Who's gonna die? Garrett. He, he will not be able, be able to, do able to survive. Popcorn he until the, we get a new one. he consumes microwave popcorn like there's no He's, tomorrow. His life's over. What am I gonna do? I don't. You guys, I have had this microwave for almost 22 years. What am I gonna say on my Instagram anniversary posts? I always have said something about our microwave. <laughs> Shout out to Sharp. Shout out to Sharp you Carousel. You make a good microwave. It. Oh, why did I have? Why did I repeat everything you just said? <laughs> Come back and say it without me repeating. Why did she just repeat? I don't know why I do that. I feel like I have to get the last word. Last word. Even though it's the, no. even though it's the me. same. I. Even though it's the same I'm word, no. I do that all me. the time. Okay. No, I mean, shh. I, shh. Okay. What? Pay your homage. No. My to, last word. Pay your homage me. to Sharp. Okay, hi Sharp. Say it again, and I won't say anything. Shout out to Sharp for making an amazing microwave. 22 years. Are you? <laughs> Fine. Okay, so here's my question. Jason, get back here. What? So can I finally get mm -hmm. an above the oven mounted microwave? And then I'll have the, all that space on my counter. Yes? You can find an electrician that'll come do it. Okay. Sweet! <laughs> we have to buy a new microwave. I know. Our microwave just died. No more popcorn! No more popcorn. Uh-oh. At least until we get a new microwave. Yeah. <gasps> Which will be never. Maybe in four months. Maybe um, Dad will get you a new microwave for your anniversary. I have to wait four months for me to get a new microwave? There you I'll go. There's your idea. Four the idea. minutes. Anniversary gift taken care of. That means you I can't, can't wait that long. Four months without popcorn? You can't wait four minutes without popcorn. No. It only takes three minutes. I can't wait <laughs> for popcorn. I can't wait three days without popcorn. Well, we just might have to pull out our whirly pop. What's a whirly pop? It's where we cook the popcorn on the stove. Oh yeah, with the like the thing. You turn and, it. And we like we have a box of. You know, back in the old days when we used to make popcorn on the stove all the time, that's how it was done. Back in the old days, like 20 years ago or something. <laughs> <laughs> that means mom and dad. Not when I was just a wee little whippersnapper. <laughs> mom. Yeah. What? Can't we also just put the the bag popcorn in the mic uh, in the stove? No. no. Unless you want our house to burn down. Yeah, don't get any ideas. Don't put paper in. I this. will help you with. Any popcorn oh, popping. Yes. Oh, wow. Got some cleaning to do underneath. I guess we can't have leftovers anytime soon until we get a new one, right? Right. So I'm going to open the door for me. Can you open the garbage can? The black one? 
Goodbye, microwave. You served your purpose. For 21 and a half It sparked years. joy. For many years. Yeah. We just wrapped up our first dress rehearsal for Aladdin, and I wanted to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes sneak peek at our show. Look at our amazing set. This is our marketplace. It's so cool. We have several entrances. This is where Aladdin jumps through after one jump, and Jafar disappears into the abyss. And then there's an entrance that leads off there. Our Cave of Wonders is probably, it's hiding backstage. This is the back side of the Cave of Wonders. It's two flats that we flip around on the front side. Oh, I wonder if I can do this. Kind of gives you an idea. Is that not the most beautiful thing ever? We have a professional artist working on our sets and scenic design, so you can tell he he really put just a nice touch to everything. It looks so lovely. Backstage, here we have like our props. Things all set up for the kids to grab when they go on stage. And this is our magic carpet that comes out on the stage and we have um, some smoke that comes out from underneath it. It's all really awesome and amazing. Can't wait to see it together with an audience. This is the room where we're storing some of our costumes. Most of these are rentals. Um, a majority of the students are responsible for their own costumes, but here we have, these are lots of the Agrabahns costumes. And over on this rack, some of our leads. This is Babcat, Gomar, and Kasim when they um, come in for Prince Ali, and here is Iago's and then our genie ensemble. Of course, this is our genie costume. It's played by a girl, and she is amazing. Oh, she does such a great job. All of them do. And then um, Raja Manal is here. And of course, just by looking at the color, you know that's gonna be Princess Jasmine. We store some other costumes in buckets over here for some of the kids. We have our guards and such, so. It looks great. I'm so excited for this show. Well, Brevin just got home from a very special activity tonight. So why was tonight's activity so special? So the young men, we went and we went skiing. But why was this such a special activity it was for my you? first time ever skiing. <laughs> the smallest hill was still steep for me. And so it was a bit difficult. So I spent most of the time learning how to get up after falling on skis. Um, so my shoulder down to like my hip is super, super sore because I kept landing on it because I would favor that side when I'd go down. Because like you have to keep your knees down and your feet that way, but you have to keep your ankle, like your heels out. <laughs> is that how you looked when you were skiing? <laughs> yeah. And so I'm going down like this, and I was like, shoot, I'm going down. So I twisted my hips as far as I could, and I fell back. And yeah. so I landed from like this shoulder blade all the way down to my hip. So I'm going to be sore in the morning. Yeah, but um, fortunately, we had scheduled to have you visit with a chiropractor. chiropractor. Maybe the timing the was best. good. Yeah. <laughs> um, you need an adjustment after snow skiing for yeah. the first time? Yeah. I had a blast. Uh, and then, like, my legs just couldn't take it anymore when I was almost there. It's like, I was almost at the bottom. And, uh, Brother Monson's like, okay, just go ahead and take your skis off. So I popped my skis off and was like, okay, I want you to go down here. Just, like, lift your feet up and slide on your butt down this part and we'll meet you at the bottom. He picked up my skis and he went <laughs> <laughs> down and like, I just, I, I did what he told me. I just laid on my, my shoulder blades, lifted my feet up and I went <laughs> So yeah. the most speed that I got came from me sliding down the- Sliding down the hill on your back on, side. On my back um, because my legs couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. So it was, it was fun. I had a great time. But yeah, like I said, the, the smallest hill, like the easiest hill, the bunny hill? The bunny, the bunny hill? Slope. Speaking of bunnies. It's so... It's... Garrett was doing bunny ears on you. Oh. Um, so it wasn't so bad you don't mind trying it again. Oh no, dude. I loved it so much. I had a oh, blast. Oh good. I'm glad you had fun. Mm -hmm. Well, sleep well tonight. We've got your 
appointment tomorrow and yep. actually i was gonna ask i'm hungry what can i have to eat oh we got a special delivery today you guys know what these are Girl Scout cookies. The Thin Mints, we had to get Thin Mints. And then I wanted to try, I don't think I've ever tried this one. It's Toffee-tastic. It has like toffee bites in a sh shortbread type cookie. So that looked good. So what are your favorite Girl Scout cookies? This one's a classic. Thin Mints. And Tagalongs. Can't go wrong with chocolate and peanut butter, so you can have, have some of those. You can have some cookies. <laughs> and what are you doing out of bed? Dad and I have already tucked both of you in bed, so go get we back in bed. bed. I know, you sillies. Getting a drink of water. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy your cookies. Good night. Woo! It's bright out here. Yeah. I've just picked up Brevin and I'm taking him to a chiropractor. He's going to have an adjustment. So this vlog is kind of a bit of a hodgepodge of all sorts of funny things that we're doing. And anyway, that's where we're heading right now. See if we can get some mobility, more mobility for his neck, but also relieve some pain and stress and tension. So yeah, that's, that's what we're doing today. That's where we're heading right now, I guess. Here we are. Ready? Yep. Oh, maybe we need to do a monthly massage. So, how long has it been going on? At least a year. Least You've a year. probably like just stiffness, yeah, general, just like after general month. limited mobility. He can't turn his neck. And do you get a lot of pain in the upper shoulders as well? Um, sometimes, yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and see what we can do for you because we're gonna just kind of check your range of motion first, and so we're just gonna kind of see how everything's moving, okay. and then I'll just check the muscles, see what's going on in the muscles, see if there's something that we can help out there, okay. and then we'll try to move some of those joints and get them going better for you. Okay. Sweet. Let's have you go ahead and lay face down for me. <laughs> see what's going on there. Well, let's see what we've got. So I'm going to do some vibration through the upper back there just to see if we can't loosen things up a little bit more. And just let me know if it gets too intense at all. <laughs> Doing okay? Yeah, I felt so good. Let's come there. Big breath again. Okay, so we just finished with my um, appointment with the chiropractor and that was, oh man, that was needed. That felt so good and I wasn't expecting it to crack like in places that it did. How do you feel? It, I feel so much better, I really do. Yeah, I'm not sure why we've waited so long to do something about that or seek some help for either like massage or chiropractor to kind of loosen things up, but so, I believe that an adjustment was exactly what she needed to help. You needed a professional to come in and intervene. Yeah. <laughs> we are wrapping up our evening and wrapping up this vlog. We're going to head downstairs and watch some Survivor. That is my favorite TV show. <laughs> Oh, you guys, okay. So that's what we're doing. We hope you have a great day or a great night or whatever it is where you're at when you watch this vlog. See you later. <laughs>